this has been my chill spot. I've just been sitting here editing, I'm trying to finish off the wedding photos so I can get these episodes out and start sharing them. It's been really hard for me because I, I generate like a lot of my good feeling by getting an episode out. Sorry, by getting an episode out, by sharing it with you guys. So when I can't do that, it's hard to keep positive. And I like I'm editing wedding photos and I love I love my wedding clients, like they're great. But this is my last season doing weddings. So I'm not sharing these photos anywhere. I'm not getting any of that like feedback that I, that I crave as like an artist. So um, yeah, it's been it's been a little tough. But I clocked a lot of hours. I'm doing some good work. I'm almost done. So be patient. Well, you already have, because by the time you see this, you know, whatever. Anyway, it's come to my attention that uh, Rose here. Oh, I didn't explain. Rose is my brother-in-law's sister. I met her two weeks ago at the wedding, and um, she does not have any coffee here. So I'm gonna go hop on the bike, tour Halifax a little bit, and uh, see if I can't find myself some good coffee. I sure. here all day, Louisa. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Apparently Rose beat me to the punch and bought coffee at the exact same place I just bought coffee. And I didn't notice when I left this morning. Oh well. <laughs> so today, along with the hundreds of other things Rose is doing, because she runs a uh, what, like a produce distribution company? Right. Connecting local farmers to restaurants here in Halifax. Today she's uh, doing a little bit of work at the 2442, which is a restaurant that she calls. She's got a lot of things, you know, up in the air, doing a lot of stuff. Constant juggling. Constant. What are you making? Churros. I actually made a spicy chocolate chili sauce. of today and uh, I have now decided to all join the girls. They just came back and they're gonna do a tarot card reading. I've never done it before so hopefully it'll tell me lots of good stuff as to whether or not I should go to New Cups has a wreath of laurel on her head. Wreaths of this type have long been a symbol of victory and success. The sweet smelling laurel wreath is also a symbol of protection, peace, and purification. Awesome. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. You should shuffle the cards a bit and think about what you want to ask. I have to shuffle the deck. I will now pull three cards off the top. Sure. So you should like. Pick the cards up, look at them. I can't tell if those are like mountains or the ocean in the gate of that little garden thing, but I mean, either way, that's like Newfoundland, right? It's either ocean or mountains. I'm hoping there won't be too many swords in my truck. I am carrying a giant machete, though, on my backpack. <laughs> so, yeah. like, you know, hopefully, like, no encounters with bears or anything weird like that. Are you carrying seven of them? No, just, just the one. Mm. Keyword balance, adaptability, time management, prioritization. So usually in a three card spread it's like past, present, future. Sometimes the cards just decide what they're gonna talk about. Okay. It's true. I won't, I, won't, I won't force the cards to talk about anything they don't want to talk about. On the two of pentacles, a young man dances as he juggles his worldly concerns. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The infinity sign loops around the two pentacles, suggesting that he can handle unlimited problems. In the background, two ships ride the waves easily, cruising the ups and downs of life. The man seems to have a somewhat concerned look on his face, yet he dances with apparent abandon despite the turbulence of the sea behind him. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Well, what can we say in the cards then? What, what do, do you, you say? Mm -hmm. Well, the there's question. some balance and there's some 
financial prosperity and there's some challenges. Apparently, I should also not have extramarital relationships. <laughs> just, uh, you know, that's good. Just said uh, if you happen to be in one, if I happen, you might okay. be tired well, of the right. shirt. Right. <laughs> no, no relationships. Um, you know, I'm, I'm scared of some, some decisions I'm making right now, which is true. I've, I've come to the end of my season and, and end of seasons. Mm -hmm. Like, hopefully, I won't have to go back to work again, like traditional photography work the way I've been doing it before. And that scares me a lot. My life has been pretty chaotic, but I'm pretty okay with that. I feel like the last four years, it's been pretty nuts. I'm pretty happy with that though. And then this apparently it's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it big and, and actually, you know, well not make it big, but I won't starve to death, so that'd be great. Yeah, yeah I'll make enough money not to starve. 